I'm Ken Honda. I'm a salesman at a big corporation in Tokyo. Hey, Tachikawa, did you just come back from doing sales too? Yeah. Are you greeting your favorite receptionist? I did my work. Oh, Mary is always cute. She seems so quiet and neat. I heard she was getting more and more popular in the company. There are so many rivals. So unless you become more assertive, somebody else will take her. <laughs> That'll be a problem. And there's no reaction to Ken's passionate look again. How many times has this happened already? Don't mention it. You're making me feel miserable. I heard a rumor that she'd never accept an invitation to go drinking, so I can't even start a conversation. Oh, now I remember. I heard she'd be at the year-end party. Is that right? Yeah, I saw her name on the list of the year-end party. With the help of alcohol, I can definitely talk to her. That's right, but she didn't even attend the welcome party. I wonder how she acts when she drinks. I'll be surprised if she becomes troublesome. And time passed so quickly that the day of the year-end party came before I knew it. I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk for a long time, so let's start the year-end party. Now, cheers. Cheers! Now, Mary is probably with people in charge of the front desk. Okay, she's right there. I'll pour some more alcohol for you, Mary. Oh, the first glass of beer was enough for me. And that's Sarah, the receptionist? You're so sassy that you won't drink at the year-end party. Aren't you too carried away just because you're more popular than I am at the company? That's not true! And she's been picked on, right? Um, excuse me. You shouldn't force someone to drink alcohol if she doesn't like it. Recently, alcohol harassment has been a problem. I guess you're right. Sorry, Mary. Here you go. This is tea. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. You're Kent Honda from Sales, right? What? She knows my name? Um, you always look at me when you pass by the front desk. Plus, she knows that I'm always giving her a look. By the way, this oolong tea seems like alcohol. I feel dizzy. What? There's no way there's alcohol in here. Sarah, is this... Oh, she's not here. Yeah, don't look elsewhere. The tone of her voice has changed suddenly. She's calling me by my first name. Something seems to be strange. Excuse me. Wow, I can smell the alcohol so strongly. This has some alcohol. I'm starting to feel hot. I'm going to change, so face that way. No, you can't do that. Th th this is not good. Mary becomes like this with just a little alcohol? You never know what's going to happen if she gets even drunker. Let's go outside for now. It's cooler in the lobby. Uh, why are you in such a hurry? Wow, it looks like things are going well. It's not time to talk about that kind of stuff. If I remember correctly, this hotel has a break room, right? Wow, you're taking her home already. You're so aggressive. Stop being silly. But we gotta go, Mary. Sure. Okay, I can have Mary rest here for now. Are you okay, Kent? Your climbing technique was amazing. She only had a sip, but she's so drunk. If she'd stayed there, she might have really taken her shirt off. Here, until you feel sober, please lie in bed. Kent? Come over here. Huh? Wow, wait a minute. What is Mary doing? <laughs> stop, stop. Please, calm down, Mary. Come on, I want to do it one more time. What are you talking about? You're too drunk. Oh, are you embarrassed by any chance? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I never imagined Mary liked kissing so much. Now come over here, Ken. Why are you lying down at the edge? I'm lonely by myself, so lie in bed with me. No way I can do that. I'm not gonna let you go. <laughs> Please let go of me. I mean, you're gripping me so strongly. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> but, but this is a chance, if I think about it. Mary is making the move. Uh, let's lie down together. I need a hugging pillow. No way. Just drink water and go to sleep. I can't do this. I'm not her boyfriend, and I should never do anything while she's like this. 
ten minutes have passed as we had a conversation like that. Oh my, I never imagined Mary would act so sweet when she gets drunk. I've always thought Mary was neat and clean, but that was only one part of her. I know you can see a person's true nature when she gets drunk, but if I were to go out with Mary, which Mary should I like? Oh man, there's no use thinking about such a thing. I should get some sleep too. Hmm, it's already morning. I wonder if Mary is okay. Are you okay, Mary? Okay. Good morning. Uh... You should have a headache, so you can stay in bed. A lot happened last night. A lot? D did you do something to me by any chance, Kent? You slept in the same room as me, and what did you do to me then? Please, <laughs> calm down. You had some alcohol at the year-end party yesterday. Since I got drunk, you... I just asked you to calm down. Please, chill out. It was my first time! Ouch! You must be misunderstanding. Don't make excuses! I'll kick your... Oops, I just talked like I used to. Phew, you seem to come to your senses. I'm glad. I'm sorry, I just slapped you suddenly. I had some alcohol at the year-end party, and... What happened after that? Let me explain. First, I took you to this room, and you kissed me all of a sudden. What? On top of that, you told me to be a hugging pillow because you were lonely. Ow, oh, um... And as I was trying to let you drink some water... Uh, I'm so sorry! Do you remember it now? Yes, plus I slapped you. I'm truly sorry. Well, you didn't have any recollection of your memory, and you were in a room with a guy, so you have the right to misunderstand. I got drunk easily since I was younger, and even a little alcohol makes me drunk and I start acting sweet. Does your personality change when you get drunk? Well, let me tell you what happened in the past. When I was in high school, I was so naughty that my hands moved quicker than my mouth. Is that right? Yes, plus my parents were both working, so I was lonely. So I acted sweet when I was with my friends. Because of the difference, I was called a crazy kitten. But a teacher said, it's not too late if you studied hard in college. Thanks to that, I acted neat and clean when I got into college. And that's how I got a job here. I see. But even now when I get drunk, I start messing around with anybody just like I did in the past, so I could never attend drinking parties at the company. Ah, I understand your situation now. Well, when she grabbed my arm yesterday and when she slapped me both times, it hurt pretty bad. You took care of me last night. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. Everybody has different sides, and I think you're cute and nice on both sides. What? Wow, what did I just say? I must have sounded like I was flirting with her. It's the first time somebody has said such a thing. Wow, Mary seems to have liked it. Actually, I've been interested in you. If you're okay, will you? Wait a minute. It seems like I'm taking advantage of her. I wonder who it is at this time of day. Wow, Sarah. Oh, is this Kent? What happened to our Mary after that? She seems to have come to her senses now. Is it Sarah? I can talk to her. Does this mean you snuck out of the year-end party and spent the night with just the two of you? Oh no. It's not good! That's not allowed! A receptionist can't go out with an employee. Our department is strict. It'll be a problem. No, no way! Kent just took good care of me, and there's nothing more. Huh? What's, What's wrong? wrong? The situation doesn't seem like what you're saying is true. It'll probably be hard for you to stay at this company. Uh... So what? Huh? I was asking you what the problem was. I liked Mary in the first place. If Mary gets fired because of this, I'll support her. Wow, calm down, Kent. First of all, you're the one who forced Mary to drink even though she refused. This is definitely alcohol harassment. I told you to calm down, please. What's up with what Kent just said? Um, no, it's not. Sarah, I need you to tell me in more detail. Oh, no. After that, I heard she got a suspension, and she stopped harassing Mary. Oh, I got an email from the manager. 
It says, I won't yell at you, so you can relax a little more. I'll hear it from Sarah. Oh, the manager was listening too. My manager said he'd be on our side, so I don't think Sarah will spread a rumor since she forced you to drink. Please keep this a secret for now. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I don't want to quit if I can stay, but you can't erase what you just said. You said you liked me, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Once things settle down, shall we go somewhere? What? Does that mean... Yes, one more time. Uh, if you're okay, please go out with me. I'd be more than happy to. Because of what happened, I forced you to date me, really. That's right. It was a happy thing for me, though. I'm sorry? I mean, what? In the first place, it happened because I kept avoiding drinking. You've done nothing wrong. But still... It's a very happy thing that I got to meet someone who accepts me like this. Plus, I can't avoid drinking alcohol forever. I'll work on it, so... I'd like to get used to drinking beside you, Kent. I'll like you no matter what, so don't force yourself. But if you want to drink, I'll stay with you as long as you need me. Kent, I love you! Like this? After I took care of a beautiful receptionist who got super drunk, I ended up getting together with her. I'm fine with her getting used to drinking, but I kind of think I want to keep Sweet Mary to myself until then.